Das machen wir noch schnell, ne? It transpired that the skull in the center of Benny's problems was actually the skull of a young man, Harold, who, back in the same history times as the blacksmith, was in love with a young woman named Reagan. Harold told Penny his tale, again employing the same incredibly vivid interactive storytelling technique that Penny told herself she really needed to learn, and it was one of sorrow and loss. Star-crossed lovers, struck down in the prime of life by a horrible accident. Or rather, a series of horrible but ultimately non-fatal accidents which led, eventually, to one involving a windmill that finally stuck. Could Harold really have been so bad at basic windmill safety? Penny asked herself. And, in a follow-up question, could Reagan really be running around in my body for reasons that are not pure evil? There was only one way to find out. And Penny knew these answers could come at a horrible cost. But she needed to know. And there I was, left alone, without my love Regan to hover here in the other side. Until that fateful day when... Oh, Banjo! No! I wasn't done with my story! For some reason, I didn't get to the most important part! Penny, you have to find Regan! She's not a bad person! She can help you! Yes! Finally! I found it! Hey, don't take Harold! Bad news, girlfriend. This time, you're gonna stay dead. All right, well, Harold said Reagan is actually a good guy, so I guess despite the fact she stole my sweet bod that I already perfectly customized to my own tastes, I should probably track her down. I don't want to be trapped in here forever! I can't take it! I can hear you! I'm Penny and I'm here to help. Are you Reagan? I am, but I'm trapped in here and- Reagan, slow down. I came to tell you, I know where Harold is. <gasps> you do? Oh, my sweet Harold. You really know where he is? I do, and despite the fact that you're, uh, borrowing my amazing body, I still want to help you. Harold says you're not a bad person. He's such a sweet talker. Penny, I'm trapped in here. Help me escape this coffin, and I'll tell you what you need to know. I can't believe I left my sweet bot for just a few hours, and already it's stuck in a coffin. Perfect. Please, I'll explain everything. I just need to get my, well, your body out of here. I don't have anything on me to smash a coffin, but wait. Could I actually possess myself? Is that dangerous? Would that cause a tear in the space-time continuum or something? I guess there's one way to find out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, guys. Let's all get some gently loved, previously enjoyed bodies. Oh, man, I love those. this crazy thing. Hey, do you like how it... Penny, what are you... I need you to smash the coffin, not get stuck in here with me. Oh, I'm not stuck. You and me, Reagan, we're driving my body together. And that gives us twice the willpower. Come on, hop when I give the signal. We're gonna drive this coffin right off a cliff and smash it that way. Share. And now, Reagan, who I'm not even sure I trust yet, I'd really appreciate knowing who you are, what you're doing here, and why you stole my body! A body which, I remind you, I am still only partially in control of. I did say I'd tell you. Okay, let me grab a projector. Wait, what are you going to project onto? Directly into your mind, of course. Is that safe? So many questions! When I saw that Harold had died, I was devastated. Harold! But I knew he would have wanted me to live my best life. And I did. <laughs> and one day, many years later, I died. Amateur lion taming accident could have happened to anyone. In death, I was happy to finally be reunited with the love of my life, my Harold. Harold! My love! Regan, sweetie, I'm stuck. My bones are scattered across the world and I can't leave until they're safely in a grave. It sucks so bad, sweetie. I'm not losing you again. So we were stuck. We waited there together for hundreds of years. Until one day, when you decided to drop in. Ah! The strange shard that killed Harold somehow gave me the power to take over your body. I'M BACK ALIVE! Back in the world of the living, I'd finally be able to collect Harold's bones and set things right. Or so I thought. That's a cool and not unsympathetic backstory, but you still stole my body and my life. I know, but... Well, you can have it back after I find Harold's bones. That's all I want. Reagan, would you be offended if I used the word crappy? Not at all. Reagan, you've been doing a pretty crappy job of collecting his bones. How many do you have so far? Zero? Well, things got complicated. Well, lucky for you, I know how to solve your problem. That wolf ghost must know where some of his bones ended up. Harold got gobbled by wolves, by the way. Don't know if you talked about that when you were waiting. We didn't. We mostly talked about our love for each other. Well, now you know. Harold told me through a particularly elaborate form of interactive storytelling. Anyway, to the wolf ghost! Okay. Wolf! Wolf, are you here? Wait, maybe this wasn't the greatest idea. Uh, do you remember a sad boy meets girl story that also involves boy getting his head chopped off by a windmill? Nice man. Very tasty. 
kept Cub satisfied for weeks, but then uh, Wolf feel slightly guilty. Well, here's your chance to make up for that. I'll forgive you for gobbling my delicious husband if you lead us to his bones. Nice lady. Follow Wolf. Oh, stop slapping me, Harold! Just give me that stupid shard in your stupid hand! House, please crush this annoying thing! With pleasure. Ouch! Oh! Ah! It's good to be back in the old body. Really? You didn't find it a little... Uh, tall? It's the perfect height! And don't sass a body you didn't even ask to borrow! That is rude, Reagan! Definitely source of bone smell. Wolf would bet two stacks of delicious human flesh upon it. That's not necessary, but thanks. <laughs> Looks like this patient is going to flatline. Is that a threat? Uh, dang it, Vera! Penny? Wow! Vera hasn't seen anyone do the old two souls, one body trick in years! How's that working out for you? It's, uh, surprisingly cozy. Yep, that's what they tell Vera. So listen, Vera couldn't help but notice that that ghoul there is bothering you. You want Vera to tag along with her spell that can kick ghouls out of bodies? Yes, please. Okay, shove over. Wait, I thought you meant tag along in the walk beside us sense. Not in the also possess my body sense. Vera apologizes for the confusion. Ah, uh, yes. Vera likes it in this body. Feels sassier than the old one. Okay, so... To stop a ghoul from possessing someone else, just do this. <laughs> yes, disappointing. Vera noticed this too. Vera will need way more ghost power for this to work. One second, Vera has a friend she can call. Hello? Martha? Vera, are you still at the Department of Death and Dying? Oh, perfect. Well, Remember how Vera covered for you when you accidentally sent those 5,000 souls to the bad place? Gotta call in that favor, Martha. Vera needs some ghosts. You've got Vera's coordinates. Thank you, Martha. These will definitely have the additional ghost power units Vera needs. Penny, always a pleasure. Anything I can do to help, I'm happy to do it. This is none of your business. Oh, but I 
was just about to get together with my new girlfriend. Dang it! You needed me back on Earth, dearie? Happy to be your plus one for an evening. My help will be out of this world! Sorry, is that cliche? I'm new here. Hey you! We keep running into each other! I'm down for whatever! This is none of your business! Ahoy, Penny! Just good to be seeing you again. save you aren't you alive now well i was until the hot stop and thrills a terror lady 18 no regrets <laughs> hey don't be mean you're just ahead i think you'll count for 0.5 no offense nothing taken is here and also your legally mandated squire hey it's you from before thanks for the help with Jenny that's it that's all Vera needs the full force of the spell is now available if we work together 
Penny, you're in charge. Just say when. Got it, Vera. Looks like this customer is going to need some reconstructive dental surgery. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I'm awesome now. What did Vera tell you? Now let's go use our powers on those dang ghouls. And save my Herald. Yes. Everyone, let's end this. This town is just a beginning. Hey, when this is over, does anyone want to go watch scary movies? We're all ghosts here, fireman. What could be scarier? Oh, you've never seen the Terror Lady series? Super scary. Okay, so get this. She's a lady, right? But her main interest? Tara! So, one day, she's walking down the street, terrifying everyone she meets, of course, when... Everyone! I'm trying to concentrate here. Smells bones inside that building. Definitely old bones from before. If you not need them, can Wolf eat? No, Wolf. No eating the bones. Wolf accepts your terms reluctantly. Afterlives I was expecting, this was not one of them. I died in a Santa costume, and so get to spend eternity in a Santa costume. Things worked out great for me. What if you died naked? Would that mean... Can we please discuss eternal nudity at a later date? Really trying to accomplish a goal here, and I don't need the distractions. There's tight quarters here. Sorry, my head's just regular sized. But there's me and 13.5 other people in it right now. Vera is impressed by your mental stamina, Penny. If it were Vera, Vera would already be going crazy and speaking in the third person. I just figured out what... This is none of your business. I can't. 
cannot wait to dispense justice from thy new and more female frame. Sir, please don't make this weird. Penny, I apologize if my night is making things weird. My pretty! Claiming excitement from dispensing justice from a new and more female frame is weird. Tis every night's dream to dispense justice from every frame imaginable. Hey, glad you two are having fun. <sighs> Question. How long can one woman keep over a dozen other voices in her head and not go crazy? Yes, I too would like to know the answer to this question. Well, in Vera's experience, the previous world record was three, and that was only for a few minutes, if I recall. Oh, but uh, you're doing great. Vera doesn't feel insane at all. <laughs> Okay, let's uh let's hurry this up. That's all we need. It's time to end this. It's time to save Harold. Junkie, also ich komme nicht weg, ich bin doch nicht mehr. Hey 
Kollegin! I knew you'd never give up on us! This is for you, my love! Catch! Reagan, my love! Not even death, dismemberment, possession, and giant nightmare demons can keep our love apart. And this is much nicer than kissing a skeleton, which is what I was worried I'd have to do. Penny? What happened? Why am I here? Why are you... Wait, why are you dying in my arms? Hey, I'm back from my moon vacation. Fully rested and relaxed. Great sights, great restaurants. Though I must admit they didn't have much of an atmosphere. Anyway, I'm so ready to start reaping souls from the living. Hey boss, speaking of that, there's been a mistake. What? Yeah, turns out I didn't die after all. My body got possessed by the spirit of a long dead woman, which kicked my spirit over here to the other side. But yeah, totally alive right now. Uh... For the moment, at least. Also, I'm not a demon. I'm pretty sure I've gathered from context clues that only demons are supposed to be doing my job. Wait. I left a living human in charge of the afterlife? I left an alive person in charge of death? Oh, jeez. I could get fired for this. Hey, I won't tell if you won't. Now, if you could just send me back to the land of the living, quickly, hopefully. Thank you, Penny. Thank you. You've saved my skin. Metaphorically speaking, of course. And it seems you've also done a lot of solving of other people's problems, too. <laughs> See you never, Temp. Be gone! Penny! You're alive! I was terrified. I thought for a moment that you were... <laughs> <laughs> Dead? Nah. Besides, that's not scary, Elliot. People think of him as this force that stops them throughout their lives, but it's not like that. Penny, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll explain later. For now, come here, boyfriend. <laughs> Reagan and Harold, they really did love each other, you know. I know. I miss them. Them and all the others. Yeah, it's a shame we won't see them tonight. And also ever again. I wouldn't be so sure, Elliot. After all, there's a reason we're having the housewarming party on Halloween. 